Hey viewers and friends, Andrew back again with another video and today I am going to be going through my retro slash collection so anything from the 70s right through to the mid 90s I sort of classify as uh, retro slashes. The 90s are kind of pushing it a little bit I guess um, but most of these are from the 80s anyway which is my sort of sole focus when it comes to retro slashes. I love the 80s stuff, it's amazing. So this video is sort of going to basically cover a few things. Obviously you guys are going to see what I own in terms of retro slashes, but you also have the opportunity to help me out and I really hope some of you do. Uh, this is kind of important to me. I'm really wanting to add more retro slashes to the collection, especially 80s stuff. Now. I know that there's a lot of stuff out there that I don't own, a lot of obscure stuff and I've been talking to a few people about it but hopefully some other people can help out as well. So I'm going to first off show you what I own in terms of DVD, Blu-ray and then some bootlegs. Then at the end of the video I'm going to list some movies that I plan to pick up but if you guys recommend any of the ones, especially the ones that I'm going to be picking up obviously or you have any and you're wanting to do a trade that'd be great or you can think of any others that are worth owning please let me know so without rambling on anymore we're going to take a look at what I have so I'm not really going to talk about each movie but if you're a retro slasher fan a lot of these are going to be pretty familiar I will quickly mention if one of the releases is out of print or whatever um, so first up we have the drive-in two-pack of Initiation and Mountaintop Motel Massacre. Um, I'm wanting to pick up the individual release of the Initiation at some point. Next we have Bad Dreams and Visiting Hours. Uh, this one's out of print, I know that. It's the Code Red double pack of The Forest and Don't Go in the Woods Alone. I've never seen these before, I've heard they're absolutely terrible movies. Um, I wouldn't mind picking up the individual releases at some point, uh, simply for the cover art, but they are out of print as far as I know. Uh, the MGM Midnight Movies double feature of Deranged and Motel Hell. Five movie classic slasher collection with Don't, Go, Don't Look in the Basement, Scream Bloody Murder, Silent Night, Bloody Night, The Hatchet Murders, which is also known as Deep Red, and The Severed Arm. Alice, Sweet Alice. Alone in the Dark. Excellent movie, highly recommend it. American Gothic. Uh, this gets a lot of mixed opinions, but I think it's great. Anthropophagus, The Grim Reaper. April Fool's Day, uh, fun slasher. Bloody Birthday, Killer Kids, cheesy but good. Uh, the Boogeyman, which is shit. And then I believe the third sequel, Return of the Boogeyman, which I haven't seen yet. One of the greatest slashes ever made, The Burning, which is getting a Blu-ray release next May, I believe. I think it's May. Uh, via Screen Factory, so bloody excited for that because this is one hell of a slasher. Child's Play, awesome. Child's Play 2, even better. And Child's Play 3. Chopping Mall, another great one. Double Pack of Christmas Evil and Silent Night, Bloody Night. Don't like Christmas Evil. Bootleg of Curtains. Um, I know this has an official UK release. Deadly Blessing. Um, this is a rather rare DVD. It's only got the Australian Umbrella release plus the UK Arrow release. But good news to my US um, audience. Screen Factory are releasing the Blu-ray for Deadly Blessing in January. So I highly recommend this movie guys. It's awesome. Deadly Manor. Don't Open Till Christmas, The Driller Killer, Dr. Giggles, Evil Laugh, 
Um, this is one of the more sort of obscure and less talked about slashes from the late 80s, I think. Um, really, really good though. Highly recommend it. Final exam. Um, I like this one a lot. Again, this one kind of gets mixed response, but I think it's great. Funeral home. Graduation day. This one's really good. Um, the two copies of Happy Birthday to Me, the original one, and then the one with the alternate uh, soundtrack. The UK release of Hell Night with shitty cover art. Um, if you're interested in picking up this movie, go for the US release, however it's a bit pricey. Um, and it may even be out of print, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm not a big fan of this one. The House on Sorority Row. Um, I really need to pick up the Katrina Nightmare Theatre 2 disc release. Uh, this is an awesome slasher. Humongous, um, really really good. One of my all-time favorites, Killer Party. This is friggin' amazing. Unfortunately, the only way to pick up this uh, DVD is through the Warner Brothers archives. It doesn't have an official release, and it is a bit pricey for a DVD-R, but guys, I highly recommend it. This one needs an official release. Um, hopefully, I'm probably dreaming here, but I really hope Screen Factory get a hold of this one and release it on Blu-ray, because it's amazing. Uh, Madman, this is out of print. This one's always been a pretty hard DVD to come by. This is the 30th anniversary edition. Previous to this, it had an Anchor Bay release with the red cover. Um, but yeah, if you can track down a copy of this, I highly recommend it. It's really good, um, fun camp slasher. Maniac Cop, Motel Hell, Mortuary. Uh, the Mutilator, the only official DVD release is the Dragon release from Germany, which is this one. The movie is pretty terrible, but the kills are friggin' awesome. And I mean awesome. Uh, the, U the New York Ripper. Nightmare, which is supposedly meant to be one of the rarest uh, horror DVDs ever. Uh, that one's out of print, by the way. Uh, Night School. Offerings. Uh, this is the crappy UK release. Not a bad movie. It's a total rip-off of Halloween, though. Uh, one of the first slashes ever made. Proto Slasher, Peeping Tom. Popcorn. Um, there's been rumours that this is meant to get a US re-release. Um, but it was meant to come out this year, so I have no idea what's happening with that. But uh, this is the UK release. Prom Night. Pretty average. Uh, the Prom Night 4 movie collection. The Prowler. Uh, the Psycho 4 movie pack. Return to Horror High. Silent Night, Deadly Night, the Arrow release, highly recommend this release and the movie. Uh, the same goes for Slaughter High, this one is friggin' awesome. Slaughterhouse, Slumber Party Massacre Collection, and last shelf, Stage Fright, this one is amazing, highly recommend it. Great gore, awesome kills. Strange Behaviour, also known as Dead Kids, I think. Uh, Sweet Sixteen, mm, it's decent. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, Toolbox Murders, Taurus Trap, highly recommend this one, it's brilliant. Uh, then I own the Friday the 13th 1 to 8 movie pack, and you know, I also own the Sleepaway Camp box set. And of course, the Halloween movies. Alright, now on to some Blu rays. Uh, we have Intruder. This is one of my favourite slashes from the 80s. It's amazing. Um, highly recommend it. And this Blu ray release is absolutely essential. Uh, the Funhouse. 
Black Christmas, Uncle Sam, really, really good from the mid 90s or sort of late 90s, but I wanted to include it anyway. Uh, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Terror Train, Student Bodies, which is a slasher comedy, not a big fan of it. Uh, Maniac, which I still actually need to get around to watching. My Bloody Valentine, the special edition. Uh, this Blu-ray is now out of print. And last for the Blu-rays, the original Nightmare on Christmas. Um, Nightmare on Christmas, what the fuck? A Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, highly recommend this on Blue, guys. It has one of the best transfers for an 80s horror. Uh, now some bootlegs. We have Edge of the Axe. Home Sweet Home. The Town That Dreaded Sundown, which is getting a Blu-ray release from Scream Factory next year, which is pretty cool. Boarding House. Uh, this one had an official DVD release um, from the US, but it's out of print. To All A Good Night. Fatal Games. Hospital Massacre or X-Ray. This is getting a Blu-ray release from Screen Factory next year, which is awesome. Twisted Nightmare. New Year's Evil. Um, this one's decent, not one of my favorites. This actually got an official MGM DVD release um, earlier this year, so I need to pick that one up at some point. Body Count, which has a UK DVD release, but it's out of print. Open House, the best thing about the movie is the cover art. The movie is fucking atrocious. And lastly, The Final Terror, which again has a official DVD release from the US, but it is out of print. Alright, so that's what I own. Now I'm going to list all the movies that I'm wanting. And yeah, um, that's where you guys come into play. If you've seen any of them, you can recommend any of them, please do so. And if there's any more that I haven't listed that you recommend, please let me know. Okay guys, so here is my wish list for Retro Slashes. I uh, really appreciate it if you have any of these titles and you're up for a trade, let me know please. Hide and Go Shriek, which has a official Australian DVD release. This is probably my most wanted slasher out of the list and it's very hard to get hold of. So if anyone has a copy and is up for a trade, let me know. Fade to Black, which has a UK out of print DVD. Candyman, Pieces, The Last Horror Film. Road Games, which is an Australian slasher from the early 80s with Jamie Lee Curtis. Really keen for that. Just Before Dawn, which is now out of print. Evil Judgment. Psycho Cop. Cutting Class with Brad Pitt. Silent Rage with Chuck Norris. Bloody Moon. Aerobicide, which has a official UK release, but I think it's kind of hard to get hold of. Amsterdam, which has an official UK release from Shameless. Silent Scream. Unhinged, which is out of print. Sorority House Massacre. Sculpts, which is out of print. Horrible, aka Absurd. Splatter University, which is out of print. Cheerleader Camp. Sledgehammer. Eyes of a Stranger. Silent Madness, which has a UK release, but I'm pretty sure that's out of print. Scream, uh, the 80s version. Trick or Treats, Truth or Dare, Madhouse, and Welcome to Spring Break. So there are just a few that I want from off the top of my head. So yeah, guys, if you have any of them and you're up for doing a trade, that would be fantastic. Or if you could let me know the best place to get them, especially some of the out of print ones. And yeah, guys, if you have any more recommendations of other slashes that I haven't listed, that would be awesome as well. Just keep in mind, I'm only really looking for the retro stuff, and I would prefer stuff that isn't out of print and ridiculously hard to get hold of. So yeah, hopefully you guys can help me out. That'd be great. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and thanks a lot for watching.